Namaste, welcome, peace and balance. I'm sending you all welcome to Powerhouse to Row. I am Energy Goddess. Welcome to my channel. Okay. So this one is going to be a timeless message. What comes up? It's what comes up? What comes up? Okay. Timeless messages can resonate at any point in time. Whenever you click on a video, that's when the message is going to apply. Could be past present future energies or situations that I'm talking about but they're timeless okay so they're gonna be relevant when you watch the video um so yeah let's get into the situation what is the situation what's the situation here we got the main female Somebody has jealousy or resentment towards the main female here in this reading. So there's a main female that there's some sort of jealousy or some sort of spite someone feels for the main female here in this read. Okay, thoughts, yeah, feet. So, okay, so I'm hearing the message that somebody is trying to steal something from a main female. This is probably how you do something or your occupation or something. Like, they somebody trying to steal your clout or they they want, like, people to be attracted to you, to them. They want to steal something from you. This could be, like, what you do for work or something like that. They want, they want you to be in poverty. They look at you like an easy come up or something like that. I don't know what this feeling is. This is weird. Let's get some more information. Somebody probably look at you like... Like a mark or something like that. Yeah, the high priestess Pisces energy coming out. So you like a high priestess, whatever that it is that you do, you do a, some sort of high priestess work. Your energy is of the high priestess. Somebody's watching your mystery and they want a part of this. What's the situation with the high priestess? The situation with the high priestess. Yeah, somebody wants to steal your joy in what it is that you do. So it's like you got a job. Somebody wants your job. Somebody wants to do what it is that you do. Somebody is extremely obsessed. Because it's like they can't get you out of their mind. You're, you stay in their thoughts. Pisces energy. So this could be your sign or the sign of this other obsessed energy, this thief. That's the main female Piscean energy. Yeah. Piscean energy. So this is Piscean energy. Somebody wants to take what somebody else has and they want your success, basically. But that's the thing. People don't realize that what we go through in order to get to our purpose, which is the judgment. What we have to go through in order to get to, to our purpose, that might have been a very tough struggle. And so I don't know why people be trying to wish on other people for their success. Because you might have to fall. You might have to go through all this stuff. And this thief doesn't understand that. This main female doesn't understand that. You stay in obsessed. Some, some, somebody is just obsessed with you. You stay in a mind. This is why this person can't evolve or grow. Yeah, this is why this person can't learn a lesson. Like, they can't learn whatever that they're trying to practice or learn from you. This, they try, Whatever they're trying to steal from you, it's like they can't never get better at it. Because they don't have a pure heart. They don't have pure intentions. And that's the true magic. So that's why this person can't steal it from you.
what else is coming out here? Yeah, we got the Page of Pentacles. Somebody wants your job. It's like they study you at your job. They watch you do it. And they want to do it how you do it, the way that you do it. All of these things, they can't make up their mind how to do it their own way because they stuck in your thoughts or with you in their mind trying to steal your ideas and your creations instead of creating them for themselves. Five, yeah, five of swords can't get you out of their mind. What's the outcome of the world here for this person, this thief? What's the outcome of this person, this thief? Outcome, we got the three of, okay, so they feel like they can't beat you. So they don't want to join you because they can't beat you. It's like they, they might perpetrate or play in your face like they your friend or somebody from your past. Or like y'all, they might try to play like y'all have a history to play on your intelligence. This person, the conclusion here is that this person is very deceptive. Be mindful that this is a, a lie. Seven of Swords is this complete deception with this energy, with this thief. Yeah, picking up strong water vibes for this energy that is a thief. Strong water vibes. Peace, goddess. Strong water vibes for this goddess or this person. My bad. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, it can even be like they watching you from like they friends. Um, it's like somebody spying from somebody else's social media or something like that. Like, they're not even using their social media. They use it other social media to spy. That's how obsessed this person is with you. Eight of Pentacles. So that's why, like, you wouldn't even know. That's what I was saying about the Seven of Swords. It's like, this person, you wouldn't even know. You would have to just be paying attention to your high priestess. And you're trusting your intuition when it's telling you like, hey, this person feels suspicious or this just don't feel right about this person energy moving you out. Like you just gonna have to be very in tune about that to find that out, right? So uh, overall energy bottom of the deck, yeah, and the seven of wands, you have to protect yourself if you're doing things in the public eye or something. It's, I'm hearing like keep it to yourself seven of wands like you know what i'm saying you're being protected like keep it to yourself like don't feel like you have to tell everybody what you got going on i feel like um some people made a bad investment by trying to just keep somebody thought that would when they, while they were watching you they were gonna learn something but they made a bad investment when they should have been learning for themselves how to do something this is another part of them not having a, a genuine heart a genuine passion behind what it is that they're practicing now somebody sitting up here playing this oh i'm a goddess i went through all of these things and blah 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 and they ain't went through shit right it's a money grab for them so now what spirit gonna do is spirit is gonna take them on a nice little ride oh you wanted to be spiritual oh you wanted to now, you're going to have to learn all of these things. So, they right now, they live in, right now, a testimony of that. So, that's what stifles them from being happy because it's like they thought they was going to fake it till they made it or some type of situation with no pure intentions at heart. Just, they thought they would just follow somebody and somebody would just lead them right to their Old mine or to they pro to what was owed to them to their prize seven of wands <laughs> that's crazy that's fucking insane to me somebody thought that though on some real shit yeah this person got a rude awakening they got a, a real rude awakening here with the fool card because they about to find out that they gonna have to now this thief 
is going to have to now go through the steps and the proper channels that puts them into their true purpose now because they've been saying oh i'm in purpose i'm in this i'm in that now life is taking them right through that you know what i'm saying careful what you wish for somebody was wishing for this person's success and just the, or just a piece of it not knowing you know what i'm saying like this person life was protected it is protected just period so yeah this person this piscean energy is experiencing a tower right now like a huge change now so now they don't know really what they want to do they kind of confused tell me more about the tower the piscean high priestess energy here so we got the nine of cups or the nine of swords we also have all the chariot and the ace of wands so i'm hearing that somebody wants to apologize somebody feels bad for what they did but they don't know how to make it right and i feel like spirit is just leading this energy like into this whole moment of change so that they can find their true sovereignty you know what i'm saying because i mean that's just the reality of it or their true prize or whatever it is that they're looking for and maybe stop trying to steal from other people somebody has no identity like absolute none they don't have a clue just period what's the outcome of the tower what's the outcome of the tower somebody just yeah somebody isn't going to get what they want this person who's going through all these changes right now with the tower this thief this main female that's a thief they're not getting what they want nine of cups in reverse even though they don't know they ask for this they ask for this oh this great spiritual awakening oh this great spiritual journey now realize them like yeah oh yeah that's what you want okay you ask and now you're gonna receive that so they in the eight of cups energy where they feeling um like moving on or they don't want to do this life purpose no more but that spirit ain't having none of that shit but spirit like you know what you ask for this and so spirit is keep pushing this this person into this experience so that they can have the true you know experience that they asked for this shit they asked for it they wanted to be spiritual they wanted this enlightenment see that's why they can't find happiness the sun they can't find they victory they can't find that shit Because they, they the type of energy that all that they watch you say is like, say like you the type of person that you be like, oh, love and light, love and light. They'll just fuck around and say that same shit, right? And then you only saying that because maybe that's what's in your heart to say, right? But they not realizing that it's more than just love and light energies and more than just right this this energy of light, right? And love, right? Um, there's also darker energy. So like this, it's like the way they copy somebody is like it makes them fuck up their own processing and thoughts because it's like they too heavily in the thoughts of somebody else's and in somebody else's energy instead of focusing on their own. See, this is what happens when we project out. Then even when we get what we ask for, we can't receive it as the thing that we ask for or need it anymore you see what i'm saying so this is creating a very ungrateful spirit from this person so it's like if they keep on resisting this they're they're just gonna be more disappointed the more that they resist this yeah they're very weak this person is very weak strength and reverse this energy is very weak it's like they see you as the strength they want it's like
somebody wants help, but they don't want to pay for it. They don't want to do the actual work to... Okay, so it could be like that too. Like, they want to steal it from you. They want you to give them something for free. So it's not like they really trying to steal it per se in the, I guess, the traditional sense of the word or even how this might look. Because say, look at this card, right? This card is a representation of somebody like physically stealing something. But it also, what I'm getting and what I'm seeing with this card, the message is that they not just stealing this physical thing. That They're stealing your sauce, your spiritual sauce and what it took for you to get to where you are. And so somebody doesn't know that because they doing that and they trying to suck up your energy that it came with a lot. And so now they call it in their own awakening, they own, you know what I'm saying? Moment of truth, moment of clarity. Just period. What is the outcome here of this reading? What is the outcome of this reading? What is the outcome of those of us that someone is stealing the gift from for us? For some of us who's being stolen from, what is the outcome? Tell me about the outcome. Marriage. Yeah, so this could be like a couple or something like that, like coming at you. This could also signify marriage for you. Getting this reading. I just heard that right off top. It's like this person could even have like their partner like trying to follow or distract you or something like that journey or or something like that people that they have ties to journey your path leads to a marriage for some of you guys on some real shit okay yeah somebody is trying to make money because it's like they made a bad investment in something and now they trying to make up for it. Some some of you guys, there was a situation you were in of some level of commitment. It could be a possible marriage. This leads to a separation. Getting this read. Okay, let your friends help you. What else? Is there anything else here? Soulmate and free yourself. Um, yeah, there's a separation here. Somebody's soulmate or life partner makes them feel bad for not being as good as somebody else. Like, they be like comparing them to somebody. This couldn't be another reason why somebody wants to steal something from somebody because it's like, damn, I just want to be like that. What this person compares them to. Ten of Wands, yeah. And that's like a heavy burden. It's like this person feel like, damn, I don't try to do right in all these these areas of their life. It's marriage. It's a marriage. So it's not the couple coming at, at you, both of them. It's more like the main female is targeting somebody. I don't think you ever messed with or had any dealing with this husband or anything. I just think that that person might compare their person to you. And so that's why they want to steal your gifts and what's meant for you. Which is crazy because, I mean, I don't understand how people think they're going to steal people's spiritual gifts. Like, what the fuck? What the fuck is you talking about? I 
shit is so far fetched to me. Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with people, yo? Yeah, this person coming in as a false person to you. This person that's a thief. So, like I said, they coming in like, oh, friend. Hi, friend. But really, they can't stand you. This motherfucker cannot stand you. Like, I swear to God. Cannot stand you. Because you represent who they want to be. You represent where they want to go. And you might look at yourself like, damn, I ain't even really accomplished all that I wanted to accomplish yet. That doesn't matter. This person is obsessed with you and your journey that you're walking. This is your journey. How could somebody steal your journey? The trip isn't for them. They don't have the ticket for this. So how do people figure like I'm going to steal something? You can't. The ticket not made out for nobody else. Great fortune. Yeah, it's a great fortune in the um, air for those of us getting this reading because it's meant for you to be very successful doing what it is that you do, just period. Yeah, family room and unexpected income. Um, this talks about um, money coming to you when you're in a specific room or the house the money comes in is what i'm hearing you work in the house a specific is it the living room where you work out of and it brings you a great fortune that's what somebody wants they want this type of luxury living that you live it's, it's called a soft life they want that they not quite there yet. And they don't realize that how much it took for you to be in that place. And they probably thinking like, damn, well, it's two of us. So why the fuck we ain't there yet? You know what I'm saying? But that's not what it's about. It's not about that. Somebody obsessed with somebody can't get them out of their mind. Tell me more. What is the conclusion of this reading? What is the conclusion of this reading? Tell me about the conclusion of this reading. We got the six of wands. Conclusion. What else? Then we got the Knight of Cups. Yeah, so there's a situation that does involve um, some sort of love for you. I feel like somebody is a love offer. Somebody that comes in for the collective getting a read if you are single. This talks about a love offer coming in. You being recognized as the perfect person for somebody. Somebody feels you're the perfect person. Somebody feels like, like you the perfect person. This emperor, queen of swords. Somebody might have told you your new person that's coming into your life lies about you or spoken negacy. They know that you have high honor. The person that's coming in your life know that you have high honor. And I feel like other energies could have been trying to talk shit to try to rob you out of a marriage or out of a soulmate connection. Yeah, because they watching you work and they jealous that they can't do it the way that you do it. Just period. Whatever it is you do. They just pissed off about this shit. They big mad. Yeah, queen of cups. It's like you come across so fucking healed to these energies. Six of swords. These people... 
they don't know what the fucking do. They just they they can't even step to you. They have to walk away, bow out gracefully. Is what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Like they gotta move on because they know they're no they know that they can't battle with spirit. They are no match for spirit. Who you are spiritually? Just period. Yeah, so then we got the Knight of, um, or not the Knight. Yeah, this is the Knight. That was the page, just the Knight. Or this the page. No, this the page. That's the Knight. Yeah, that's still the same. Yeah, there's this romantic offer. Tell me more about this Page of Pentacles or Page of Cups. Excuse me. I'm fucking saying this shit wrong. Queen or the King of Swords. Yeah, that's just the fucking truth of the matter here. Somebody doesn't want to accept it. Somebody pissed off about it. But it is what it is. Just period. That's justice. Period. You living in your purpose and a great fortune is coming towards you because you're being a truthful person and you're being of integrity and of honor. You're walking in your life purpose, which is of true high honor. And someone doesn't enjoy that. It could be a possible couple that are ganging up on you and like really um, very, is giving very much obsessed with you collective. Um, at any rate, this is this won't be successful because whatever the fuck that they trying to do is gonna backfire on them. Let me just say that, um, because yeah, you can't go around just fucking with people. That's not bothering. Priest is out here as well. Sagittarius Archer could be going against Aries, other friend ties or ties that you people you thought were friends. Um, these energies are at war with you right now because you're in perfect balance. And you're experiencing divine protection, just period. They might try to reach out. I'm hearing Capricorn energy. There were some soul ties. Self-fulfillment. Somebody's mad that you're in self-fulfillment right now, collective. I'm trying to tell you the ancestors are protecting you, okay? And you need to connect with them and thank them, okay? So those of us who are getting this message... All right, so that's what I got for this reading. Let me know how this one resonated with you. I'll talk to you later. Peace.